All right, so I'm here with Cybertech Cards. I got another box, booster box of cards to open. I uh, picked up Aether Revolt. So we're going to open up Aether Revolt. So I've done a couple of these boxes so far. I think I've done this is in my second or third. I don't know. I've been buying all these old boxes. You know, I like old cards. Um, you know, the mystery booster box is kind of cool and whatever, but, but you know, there's nothing like cracking a box of an original product. You know, I I, I probably won't, for 180 bucks. I'm not going to buy mystery boosters. I, I just, uh, it's not going to happen. And not, not my cup of tea. Last time I opened one of these, I got a walk-in ballista. Very nice card. Um, you know, crinkly old pack. Gotta love it. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we're going to get. All right, Wrangle. You know, I do like the Kaladesh block. We got a Drake. Bastion Enforcer. So a lot of these cards go up on TCG Player, Cruel Finality. Uh, I put them up. Uh, it probably takes me about two, three days. Uh, you know, the commons, anywhere from two cents to like ten cents, fourth bridge prowler. You know, once I get four of a kind for a set, there really is no need. I just like ooh, watchful automation. I like cracking packs. You know, that's just what I do. Um, you know, I don't do them in booster draft. You know, treasure keeper. Hidden stockpile. Revolt. That's kind of cool, creating servo tokens. Enraged Giant. He's a little ticked. And then we got Terrazet the Schemer. Beautiful, beautiful. I love Tezzeret. I think he's one of my favorite Planeswalkers. Um, I do like him a lot. Um, black and blue. Um, you know, I've always had a thing for artifacts, and I think that's why I've been cracking packs of Aether Revolt. All right, Wrangler. Hey, we just got that. Hey, Bastion Enforcer, got that. Conviction. One plus three. Return it to the owner's hand. A oh, cool card. Silkweaver Elite. Darling. Timulation. We got a Negate. Renegade Map. Destructive Tampering. Another Construct. All right, a Rinthopter. I, you know, this was one of my first cards I got. I think I forget what set this was. It had to be the fourth edition or third edition, but I really did. I you know I think that's what turned me on to Thopters. I do you know I do have a historic Thopter deck, and we got the Murder Hornet. Not just kidding. Hungry Flames, and we got a Scrap Trawler construct, and our first foil Renegade Rallier. I love the old foiling. Old foiling just it's just great. Well, it might help if I actually put the pack. No, well, I didn't have a rare pack. There we go. Gotta get my stuff together, you know? Oh, this level of organization. Do not have. Do not have. Alright. So what do you got? Aether Chaser with energy. Turn on land, leave in the dust. Conviction. A druid of the Cowl. Ali Strangler. Scouting Bander, Destructor of Tampering, Crazy Insect Worm, Artifact Creature, Implant of Malice, Sacrifice, Target Player Discards a Card. That's kind of a cool card. And you get to draw a card. And we got another Rinthopter. I like those. I like those. Gifted Aetherborn. For a second there, I thought I had the Plague Max. Plague Mask, Wildkin Raiders, cool artifact, human artificer, and Quicksmith Spy. And then we got a foil implementation of combustion. All right. Well, yeah. And an energy counter. Um, so, yeah, like I said, uh, check me out on TCG Player. Uh, just started selling all the older cards on there. Because um, what's one going to do? You know, if you want to bulk. Outlander Boar. Not be bought. That's kind of a cool card. Illusionist Stratum. And we got the Barricade Breaker. Juggernaut. Seven mana. Ugh. Mechanized Production. Enchant artifact you control. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a token that's a copy of an enchanted creature. And if you control eight or more, you win the game. That's kind of cool. I'd love to build the Tezzeret deck. 
And we got the freaking island. You need land? I got a ton of land. You want a particular set of land? Let me know. You know, send a comment. You know, send a comment. Send me a message. Um, you know, if there's a lot of cards and commons you want, um, you know, talk to me. If you want to pay for shipping, I'll ship you out a, a nice chunk of cards. Um, okay, so we got the Outland Boar again. Servo Schematic. Create a 1 1 servo. And we got the Etherborn Rebel. And World of Invention, Improvise. Your artifacts can help cast. It's kind of a cool card. I do like that ability. God, I love the land. Kaladesh land. All right. And we got, of course, the Gremlin. You know, and the other fun thing about opening packs, every pack or every booster I open is one less that's unsealed. Or that's sealed, so the value goes up. Yeah. So if you're holding on to them, keep holding, because I'll keep cracking. Although, I think this one's kind of at its limit on what I... I think I paid, like, 175 Medical Metallic Mimic Shapeshifter. That's kind of a cool card. Um, Aether Revolt, I think I'm done buying. Um, I think probably I... I, thought, I think this is my fourth... I think I own four boxes. Um, I get to a point where I'm like, you know, the value of the cards really isn't there, and I'm just kind of getting them to... And yeah, you could... You could sit there and say, you know what? You can go out and buy um, Shram the Senior Edifice. But you know what? It's fun to open them. I love sitting here and just that sound. You know, that, you got the crinkle. You know, I love that sound. So I do it. All right, let's skip a couple of these comments. Everyone knows Kaldesh or Aether Revolt. All right. So we got the Malfist Revolutionary. We got the Cat Beast. We got the Pacification Array. That's kind of a cool. I like that. It's kind of a neat artifact. Tap target artifact or creature. Two mana. That would be kind of a fun card just to sit there and annoy the hell out. Aid from the Coal. Revolt. And we got a beautiful island. Uh oh, the dog sees a dog it doesn't like. Oh, you gotta love the dog. The dog has a nice little dachshund, but he has a—he he definitely has that uh, Napoleon complex. All right. Oh, Ultra Pro. Is it? No, oh, it was a token. Good. All right. Listen. Bastion Enforcer Shock. I like Shock. Shock's kind of such a nice for two mana. More hey. You know, it's gonna be interesting to see what these older formats. You know, as legacy and some of these get more and more expensive you know will these cards start to play a uh, a role or rogue refiner human rogue thopter arrest mm, that's kind of cool and we got the paradox engine whenever an enchantment well yeah whenever you cast a spell untap all non-land permanents you control so that's kind of a cool card that's definitely a cool card so I can't really complain. We're not even a third of the way done. And we're already up to three mythics. I mean, this is... Could this be a six mythic box? You know, I think that's what I'm on the hunt for, the mythics. And yeah, the mythics aren't really worth that much. Yada, yada, yada. All right. Pimar Aether Seer. Oh, you know what? I just skipped through all my comments. That's what happens when you get in a rush. Where the hell did he go? There they go. All right, invigorated rampage. A salvage scuttler. And there we go. All right. And we got Karizev Skyship Raider with the cute little creature on the shoulder. Very cute. First Strike Menace, 1 3. Create a legendary 2 1 monkey creature named Tapped and Attacking. So this is kind of cool. This is kind of like the goblin. Ooh, resourceful return. Turn target creature from your graveyard to your hand. If you control an artifact or all a card. You know, I like cards like this for my commander decks. I mean, I think that's one of the ni other nice things. It's like those cards, you, you you know, you just knew, you didn't know you ever needed. All right. And, of course, there's that beautiful sound, that ripping of metallic paper. All right. Implement of improvement. Sacrifice implement of gain two life. 
All right. So we got Skyship Plunder, Human Pirate, Fatal Push, Aether Seer again, and we got the Planar Bridge for the Legendary Artifact. This is a really cool artifact. I do like this. Um, you know, if you can last eight turns, if you're playing one of those pod commanders, Planar Bridge is a cool card. Eight, turn, eight mana, you know, when you're late game, searching for that one card that you really need. So that's really cool. All right, and we got a Spire of Industry Gold. Look at that beauty. Gold Rare. Add one colorless, pay one life, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Activate this only if you could control an artifact. So that is a beautiful card. So that's the thing. Like Cards like this, I really don't sell. I like to hold on to them because they're mint. And that's the other thing I think I worry about when I buy cards. Um, you know, I always worry about getting them on eBay. And, you know, I'm very particular about my cards. All my, a lot of my cards in my collection have never been played. They basically sit in binders. I know, travesty. Um, Conti's Mechanism. Hungry Flames. Got it. Windkin Riders. And the Green Wheel Liberator. Elf Warrior. Um... But I'm real, I'm really anal about mint condition. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, that's why I haven't bought any fetches. I mean, you know, like to me, this is mint condition. This is light mint condition. Ridge scale, Turk Tusker. You know, one of the packs, probably, probably in a week or two, probably going to pick up a booster box of Zendikar. Uh, so look for that video coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, and so look for Zendikar. Um, also look for, uh, another cons of Takir. Uh, going after, oh, Assembly Worker, I like Assembly Worker. You know, looking for those, uh, allied fetch lands. Cogwork Assembly, Barricade Breaker, and Midnight Entourage. Alright. So, so far, I mean, I really can't, I mean, Planar Bridge, that's kind of, I don't want to, I don't know. I'll probably put that one up on eBay or something. I don't know. All right. Deft Dismal. Three damage divided. And then we got the Spire Patrol. And then the Linecraft Awakening. And then we got Heroic Inter Intervention. So this is like my fourth Heroic Intervention. I think I've sold the other ones. Um, really awesome card. Permanence you control, gain Hexproof, and Indestructible until end of turn. So really blanket kind of sock them card. I think it's like a $16 card right now. I think I've sold two or three of them. Alright. Let's see. We got a pretty bird. I love the bird. The Osprey. Defiant Salvager. Aetherborn Artificer. I love Artificers. I love all the artifacts in this set. I really... Constructs. And there's... Yep. Alright. Aeronaut Admiral, Human Pilot, Human Soldier, and we got the Siege Modification, and we got the Merchant Stock Hand, kind of, eh. And it bleh. Bleh. I'm going to say it's a bleh. So, come, 2021 Core Set looks like a really cool set. It's going to destroy some of the prices on some cards. You know, that's the only downside about buying cards. Um... You know, I never, that's kind of, I like that rare. I never look at the value of cards unless if I'm going to sell them right away. Because, like, if you're going to invest in cards that are going to do well, go to go to the reserve list. You know, or an un unopened product. I mean, but even that, it's hard to say because it's all a catchphrase. This is an e-card. All creatures get minus three, minus three. And we got an implemented malice in the foil. You know what? Just so I don't lose that, I'm gonna put that there because that was a lot. That's a cooler card than other things. Um, yeah, you could invest in. You know, you figure most people probably bought these Aether Revolts for like a hundred bucks, and they just sat on them for a couple years. Me, I think I've like a, I've opened two packs of Dark, and I kept one just to sit. Baral's Expertise: Return up the three artifacts and our creatures to their owner hand. Um, still not seeing a walking ballista. I would love to see a walking ballista. It's a nice, like, 30 drop. Uh, you know, overall, though, I mean, you gotta really like the art of the set. Ooh, Heart of Crane. Crane. Flying Vigilance Crew. 
So we've gotten five mythics, and we got mass. Oh, that's I love that card. I love that. That's going in that. That's that's a keeper. You know, I might have to do an artificer deck. I'd have to figure out a nice legendary creature. If you know any legendary creatures that are good for artificers, let me know. All right, we got the Worm Express, Ironclad Revolutionary, Reverse Engineer, and we got Aether Goat Geode Miner. Energy. One of the mechanics that seemed like it would have been a fun... I've never played cards with from this set, by the way. Um, this was when I took my hi hiatus from Magic. So, Gifted Aetherborn, uh, Reckless Racer. Illusionist Stratagem, and Free Jam Regent, a dragon. Improvise. Kind of cool dragon. I love dragons. That's why I like dragons. Takir. It's a great set. I love the whole Takir block. Takir and Kaladesh, two of my favorite sets. Um, Treasure Keeper, Construct. Crackdown Construct, Fatal Push. And Dark Imitations. Each opponent sacrifices a creature, a Planeswalker, then discards a card. You return a creature, Planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand and draw a card. When you cast a Bolus Planeswalker spelled Exile Dark. That's kind of a cool, um, I like that card. Was Nickel Bolus in this? I don't think he was. I'm trying to remember the cards. So many sets. All right. Weld Fast Engineer, Gremlin Infestation, Crackdown Construct, and Hope of Geopur, Legendary Artifact Creature Thopter. It's kind of a cool card. Still no Walking Ballista. We got 12 packs. We got 12 packs. There's still a chance. There's still a chance we could pull away. We have five mythics again. That really doesn't matter much because those mythics are not worth that much money, other than the fact that if you're into collecting a set, they become more value. All right, disallow counter target spell. Kind of cool card. Um, God, where's the walking ballista? We need the walking ballista. Should I just go from the back and go from the front, from the back to the front? That kind of ruins suspense, you know. Hidden Herbalist, Lincoln Riders, Aerial Modification. Okay, Peace Walker Colossus, and we have a Foil Aetherwind Basker. That is a really cool creature. That's a foil too, so look at that, man. Could you imagine this box back in the day? Looking at six foils. Six foils! I mean, what, what, you know, that's like ridiculous in today's standard. Six freaking foils. Still no walking ballista. If I get a walking ballista, then I'll be happy because then I can probably sell it. Uh, Pia's Revolution. Oh, there's that sound. Gotta love that crinkly sound. I know I do. All right. In the older packs, man, they really crinkle. Uh, eventual rebel. And we got Life Crafter's Bestiary. Here, up, keep scry. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may pay green. If you do, draw a card. It's kind of a cool green. I love some of these cards that are great for Commander. I mean, um, again, a lot of these older sets I don't really have for Commander. And I'm one of those people that if I'm going to build a deck, I get it in my hot head. Call for Unity. Revolt. Put a Unity counter. Creatures you control get one plus one plus one for each unity counter on call unit. That would be awesome in a soldier deck. Guess where that's going? It's going in my soldier deck. That's going in my soldier deck. My Mardu soldiers. That's going to be going in. Now I just need that. A way to generate some soldier tokens. And every time one dies, they get one, 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 one. And it makes you try to kill that enchantment. So uh, that's going to be as long as you don't counter it. Daredevil Dragster. Monstrous Onslaught. Tezzeret's Tor Touch. Chant Artifact. And there we go. We got a Walking Ballista. Nice $30 card. You know, I know they came out with one with Secret Layers. 
Um, uh, yeah, but this is a pack fresh mint walking ballista from Ether Revolt. So that's like a 30 drop right there. You know, so I'll probably put that one up on eBay. I don't know. I have to look to see, you know, does anyone run any decks with two walking ballistas? You know, I got to really look at um, what my local LGS plays. You know, I think that's going to be really what determines what I do. Legendary creature, elf druid. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, I got to really see if they play any of these other formats because... Um, you know, I play Arena, so... Uh, all right. But unfortunately, you're there to Historic and... All right, so we got Gremlin Infestation, got Sly Requestioner. And we got the Glint Sleeve, and then we got a Foil Freaking Mountain. A Foil Freaking Mountain. But, you know, that's kind of cool, though. I, I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to put that up on TCG Player, um, just because, you know, it's a cool old land. Uh, but I have a whole box. I have a box of my foil lands. I use my foil lands when I do pre-releases, um, just because they're fun to just whip out all the different previous sets. Console and Dreadnought. Oh, Crew 6. I'm like, why is that so cheap? We got Baral, Chief of Compliance. All right. All right, so... I, I really can't complain. I got the walking ballista. You know, that's my second one. So you figure there's one walking ballista per box. Um, and I, I, uh, I just wasn't going to pay the money for the freaking $30 for... Uh, release the gremlins. Destroy tar X target effects. That's kind of a cool card. I just wasn't going to pay 30 bucks or 40 bucks for whatever the secret layer is. You know, I'm still waiting for the Godzilla lands. I know, you know, and I st I've been on the fence about the fetch lands and whether it's worth it to pay $169. Yeah, I could sell the cards, but Aspire Industry. Okay, cool card. Uh, one of them. That will... My computer freeze, I think. My computer freeze. Oh, no, there it goes. Okay. Not our Renegade. Weld Fast Engineer. Aerial Modification. And Shram's Expertise. So, Overall, not a bad box. I mean, not a bad box at all. But yeah, overall, not a bad box. I mean, you know, six Mythics. Can't really be, you know, disappointed about the Mythics. I mean, again, I really don't do this for the money. I do this to get some cards, throw them up on TCG Player, try to recover some of my money. Um, you know, and again, if you're looking for these old cards, I mean, what's your what's your option? I mean, you know... Buy a box of mystery boosters or, you know, looking on TCG player and trying to find some older sets. So, yeah, this is so either revolt we're in. Uh, didn't get any inventions this time. So that's the one thing that I keep on trying to find is some inventions. I got one. So really can't complain. You know, walking ballista, twenty seven dollars heroic intervention. Uh, 1760 right now. We got the Metallic Mimic at 895. We got the Paradox Engine at 635. We got the Planar Bridge at 606. Got, I believe we have Disallow. I think we have Disallow. Uh, Saram Senior Edificer, five bucks. Baral, you know, Chief of Compliance. We got him at 574. We got Mechanized Production, 516. Um, Risker's Expertise. Got that. We got Fatal Push at 381. We didn't get any of Johnny's. I didn't get any of Johnny's. Got the Life Crafters Best Deerier, so two dollars. Uh, so I mean, we got a lot of good cards in this. So I mean, I mean, I really can't. I really can't complain. I mean, the the Walking Ballista, uh, you know, and the Heroic Intervention. If I have one Heroic, I mean, but right there, there's f what. Uh, forty-four dollars, forty-five dollars worth of value. Um, Tezzeret, believe it or not, it's not a very valuable. Uh, Tezzeret, where is he? He's only a buck seventy. I mean, that's disappointing. Remember, you know, damn. And keep that in mind too. You know, let me let's bring up some of these mythics and let's bring up these mythics by price. Um, yeah. So of the six mythics, let's total up the mythics. So we got the Aetherwind Basker. So that's a whopping sixty-one cents. Even if it's foil, we're gonna double it to a buck twenty. 
We have the heart of Kieran at $1.47, so we're up to $2. We got the planar bridge, which is, must be listed as a special because it's not underneath the mystics. The paradox engine. We have the mechanized production, so five bucks. And Tezzeret the Schemer. So, some cool old cards. Uh, you know. But, yeah, check out. You know, they'll be up on... Uh, they'll be up on TCG Player. Um, probably in a day or two. Um, and check out my other cards. I have probably, I think, the total number I'm up to is like 1,200 different cards on there. So... Um, I definitely have a wide selection of cards on TCG Player. Um, shipping is $0.78. Cents. Um, you know, uh, if you message me, um, if you message me uh, and say, hey, you know, I saw your video on YouTube, um, message me and I'll send you, I'll give you a deal. Just contact me. I'll give you a deal. You know, if you're looking for some older cards, as long as they're not something crazy, if you're looking for a lot of commons, you know, I'd, I'd rather give them to people that watch my videos instead of just Joe Public. So, um, you know, just send me a message, put, you know, Loki123 as the code, and uh, send me a message, and, uh, you know, take a look, Cybertech cards on TCG Player, and as long as it's not something crazy, if you're looking for a bunch of commons, or your buddies are looking for commons, or even some of the cheaper uncommons, uh, let me know, and uh, yeah, I'll work a deal with you. You know, um, you know, we can play the game. How many cards can I fit in a pack and keep the shipping under five bucks? So, um, and if you're looking for lands, if you're looking for any of the dual lands, the pet game life lands, um, again, a lot of the cards I have are Aether Revolt, uh, Fate Reforged. Khans of Takir, uh, Kaladesh, uh, have a lot of Throne of Eldraine, have a lot of uh, Theros, have a lot of Ikoria still. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for some lands or something, just give, you know, send me a message. Well, hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day.